In this lesson, we'll continue to upgrade the spreadsheet program uh, to make it a little more powerful. All right, let's see what we have. And one of the reasons is uh, if I highlight all this data right here and I go get a chart, and I have a chart right here and a line chart maybe, like this, well, we actually can plot the sine wave. We're, so it's all the values of the sine function, 0, 0.707, 1, 0.707, 0, and then it goes negative and returns. But typically it's a little more continuous and smooth, and we have these sharp breaks like this that we really don't want, and that's only because we're not taking enough um, information. Our data range is pretty small, you know. So let's, uh, let's get rid of this guy first. Let's see if I can cut him out of there. All right, so that's because we're only using an interval of pi over 4. And so w let's use an interval like pi over 8, which means we're going to divide the circle into uh, 16 different segments. So instead, there's a better way to do it for starters, and we're going to do it like this. We'll start by saying a5 times 2. So I've, what I've done is I've created the value of 2 pi. And then we're going to divide 2 pi into 16 intervals. And then we'll multiply each step along the way by, you know, one of those intervals, two of those intervals, three of those intervals like that. So I'm going to actually give a number in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Whoops. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is going to make sense in just a second. You'll understand. And then for the angle of measure, these are kind of old hard-coded data. And I really wanted to fill it in like this. So I'm just going to get rid of all that. <laughs> and then, so we've broken this spreadsheet. Oh, that's okay. We, hop, we can fix it. So in this case, I'll just put that into zero as our measure. But now we need a new formula based upon this. So our formula, in this case, is going to be equals sum equals equals sum, and a15 is going to be our new reference here. And so that's 2 pi, and we're going to divide it by, 2 pi divided by 16. And then we're going to multiply that times the a number of steps number of steps of that interval that we want, so we'll multiply it times this reference d7. d7, like this. And that gives us our value for the first step. And now if I want to copy this, we have a little bit of trouble here because this is something that we need to know about about spreadsheets is that if I was to, in fact I'm just going to do it, I'll copy it first and I'm going to paste it into this location and you're going to see what happens, it goes to zero. Well, that doesn't make sense, but it does because what's happened is this reference A15 here, because of the feature of the spreadsheet where it copies and changes this for us, it has turned it into A16, and now it's referencing this blank cell. Well, I could copy this and copy all these, these things down, but I really don't want to do that. I just want to continually reference this cell, and the way you can do that is, we'll get, let's get rid of this line here. We go up back into this formula, and you proceed this number 15 with a dollar sign and that gives it a fixed cell reference it fixes that row so it references it each time so then if I well actually actually accidentally hit a number in there I don't need that d7 oh yeah I did that was sorry that was that was correct what am I thinking okay so d7 so now that yeah, we have our fixed reference so now let's copy that and paste this and so it so now it multiplies it times d8. We don't fix this reference because I wanted to multiply it times that each time. And let's just continue copying. Let's see what happens. All right, I copied all those down there. There's 2 pi down there for the angle of measure. And for these guys, I guess I'm just going to have to keep copying those too, right? So I'll copy and paste those. And I'll copy and paste those. Whoops, what I do? I must have accidentally not hit control when I did that. So, all right, I think we're back on track. And then these guys here, I'm going to need to copy and paste them as well. 
and voila, it looks correct. Well, we're going to find out right now. Let's highlight this data here and go get a chart. And already I can tell that it's a little more continuous than it was before. There it is, a much smoother sine wave. So, but it was easier to do it that way, but the fixed cell reference was really the important feature of this part of the spreadsheet. All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.